if we want to remove the brake discs we have to uh, remove the caliper and also this piece the holder of the caliper and then we have to turn loose this bolt and this bolt but it's very um, dangerous to unscrew them because uh, many of the times you can uh, break or uh, damage the bolt the head of the bolt so uh, we will use an impact screwdriver to loosen this so we will see to clean this even and then uh, we will make it loose uh, with the impact screwdriver so first we will clean it this and then we take the right torx it's a T30 and then we see if we hit here with the hammer that it turned to the uh, counterclockwise so you see it's turning that way so that's okay you see that the that the T30 is in completely and then you hit it with the hammer So it will come out. See it? And there is no damage. You can reuse it, but I recommend to do some uh, copper grease on the screw thread. And then we will take the other one. You can also see that there is fallen some brake dust from uh, making it loose now we will do the other one also put it in completely and then with the hammer straight horizontal and then hit it it's coming out you can also see the bolt isn't damaged it's in good shape so we can reuse it if we want now we will take the caliper off so this bolt is already all out we will take this bolt out and then we can take the caliper away see that you don't damage the brake hose you have to be to put it a little bit aside and then you can take the bolt out and then we will take something to uh, lay the caliper on you can take this bucket so that the entire weight of the caliper isn't on the brake hose because that isn't that isn't good and now we have to take a 17 and loose, loosen this bolt these two bolts this one and this one this one and this one and then we can take this part off this part off and then we can uh, remove 
the brake disc and then we can replace it by the new ones and also the two new bolts and then the two brake discs from Brembo. So the bolt is out, size 19. And now we can take this part out. So this bolt and this bolt are identical, so uh, we don't have to place them um, in the same when they came out. Break this off, the bolts we have already loosened, so we turn this back out. And then we hit it with a hammer on the back side. And then you can see the old brake discs. Disc. She has only uh, 97,000 kilometers, so a, a small 100,000 kilometers, and the new one. So that's the original part, and this one is from Brembo. You can see the number of Brembo and uh, all the things you have to know. And we see um, that we have to turn the bolts with a torque of 98 Newton meters um, and that the bolts are with it. But we can also use the old bolts if we want because they aren't damaged. So we will clean it a bit with an iron uh, piece, and don't know the word in English. And then we can place the new brake discs. You can, if you want, do a little bit of copper grease on it. Take the new bolts. We'll do also a little bit of copper grease on it. I changed them now around 100,000 kilometers, but they aren't 
burn entirely so it's it's uh, very fast that I change them but if you do it yourself um, the brake pads from Bosch and the Brembo brake discs only cost about 95 euros uh, for the front axle so the both sides and if you do it in the garage, in the Opel garage, I think it will cost about 400 euros. Do not fasten them too fast because then it's a problem to to loosen them when you are doing this for the for the next time. So a little bit of uh, power and that's enough. So that's enough because if uh, the, the wheel is on, the rim is on it, um, you have the four bolts also um, to keep it in place. And now we will uh, place this part back on. Also we will uh, clean it a little bit. Also on these two bolts we will do some copper grease. Copper grease is able to resist very high temperatures and the brakes will get very hot if you are using them a lot. Always turn the first uh, part by hand, not on the, with a range on it, because uh, you can damage the screw thread then. Then uh, we'll turn the bolts, we will fasten the bolts and we will do it by a, a, tor uh, a specified torque. So we will use the torque of 98 Newton meters. So we will put our wrench and we put it on 90. And then we fasten it.
so a torque of 98. And there we can replace the four clips. Always do it uh, piece by piece, then you can see uh, which one is the exact one for that place. And then we can place the brake pads. Just do some copper grease here. And here. And a little bit on the back side. first one and then the second one do not or try to not do some copper grease here on the friction material. So the new brake pads are on and now we can uh, replace the caliper. I have pushed in the cylinder entirely and now we can uh, place it back on the new brake disc and brake pads. So the two bolts are fastened here with a torque of 98 newton meters. Now we can do the caliper back on. using the new bolts also a little bit of copper grease on it That's the first bolt, now the second one.
take the size 13 That's good. Now we can uh, turn the wheel. That it's right to put the wheel on. Um, put the rim on it, and then uh, push the brake for a few times, and then we can do the other side. So this is the new brake disc and the new brake pads. The brake disc is from Brembo, and the brake pads are from Bosch. They are installed now. And we can do the wheel on now, the rim, we can uh, place the rim back on. Placing the rim back. Like all the other bolts, a little bit of copper grease on it. We will use a torque of 112 newton meters to fasten the rims. Now we can lower the car. Very gently. And now fastening the bolts with a torque of 112 newton meters. You can see the new brake disc from Bambo and the new brake pads, everything new. So uh, the discs are good for 100,000 kilometers or more and uh, the brake pads will do about 30,000 kilometers. Uh, but if you drive very slowly uh, you can maybe do 150 or 60,000 kilometers with it. So in the car, so you can see, we have 97,522 kilometers. The discs, I've replaced them very fast, 
if you want you can do more kilometers with it. Just push a few times on the brake. And now we can do the left side. Okay guys, thanks for watching.